it's one of the worst moments I think we've seen of umpiring in any game I've ever been a part of in baseball. And I think it was pathetic. Oh, my God. Some tough words by Twins manager Rocco Baldelli. This breakdown is brought to you by SeatGeek. Use code JOHNBOY for $20 off your first order. It's tied up. Two runs apiece, top of the 10th inning. The Twins have some new outfielders. Byron Buxton enters the game because he pinch hit. Tim Beckham enters the game because he pinch ran. Whit Merrifield's at second base because he's the Manfred man in extra innings. And the pitch is put in the air to Buxton. They're going to test his arm out right away. Merrifield tags up into third and safe. Rocco says, no, I would like you to take a look at that. We trust you. We just think you got it wrong. Maybe. And no, they got it right. And he says, yep, we got it right. Safe. Don't ever doubt us again. And he says, it's all right. It's all right. We're good. We're good. All right, hey, bring them in. Bring them in. We got to cut this run down at home. His coach says, you come in, come in. And what happens? Good coaching. The next pitch, another fly ball, this time to the other new outfielder. They're going to test his arm out now. This is the go-ahead run in extras. The throw, we're coming home and out. But Merrifield says, wait, I never lane to the plate. What are you talking about? And his teammate says, no lane. Let's go, baby. They're happy about it. Gary says, this is the ball you threw me. He says, thank you. I will cherish this ball. Comes out, let's go, baby. There you go. Merrifield says he can give me a lane. You can't do that. So the manager comes out, red in the face, blue in the hat, and says, uh, yeah, we're going to challenge that rule. What's the rule they're challenging? What's the Buster Posey rule? Rule 7.13. Unless the catcher is in possession of the ball, the catcher cannot block the pathway of the runner as he is attempting to score. It's to protect catchers from getting hurt. If in the judgment of the umpire, the catcher without possession, so when the catcher does not have the ball, blocks the pathway of the runner, the umpire shall call or signal the runner safe. But if the catcher blocks the pathway of the runner in order to field a throw, the umpire can determine that the catcher could not have fielded the ball without blocking the pathway of the runner and the contact the runner is unavoidable. This is a very confusing rule. It rarely, rarely ever gets overturned because... There's a lot going on. First, look at Gary Sanchez. He knows the rule. He's very particular. See him look down there and look at home plate and set his foot up on the outside to give a lane. That's because the rule. So he's being very careful there. And now he's waiting for the throw. Now the ball is caught right here. And you're going to see as the ball gets released in left field, look, it's just about to get the released. Gary is watching it. He's watching it. And he realizes this is a little bit to my left. So he moves. He moves his feet. To catch the ball, and now he's squared up with the ball. That should all be legal. He doesn't have the ball yet, but he's also not blocking. There's no contact. Now he has the ball. Once he has the ball in his glove, he's allowed to block the plate. So you see him, as he's about to catch it, you see that left leg go down. Because what catchers do is they lie that left leg down kind of as a blocking wall. And he does that once he knows the ball is going to be in his glove. So the ball's in his glove. Now he's going to lay his leg down to block the plate and tag him out. In my opinion, that's textbook by Gary Sanchez. He sets up with the lane. As soon as the throw is thrown, he moves a little bit to get to where the ball is. When he moves, the ball's right at his head, so he moved right into the lane. Once he has the ball, he lays down his leg to block the plate. Home plate umpire says, yep, that's a good play. You're out. Here it is from another angle, and the leg goes down. You can see the effect of that and why they do it because it blocked that leg right there, and he tags him, and he's out. This is the new catching strategy. This is how they have to do it now since the rule exists, and they rule him out. Now they're going to go to replay. Here's the other overhead angle. Clearly out if it's not blocking the plate. They go to replay, and they come back, and they say, after review, the call is overturned. You usually need concrete evidence to overturn it. Rocco Baldelli is going to lose his mind. He starts screaming, takes his hat off. Completely different guy. Hat on, kind of young, got the beard, full of energy. Hat off, tired dad. He says, uh, that's fucking bullshit. That's the worst fucking call I've ever fucking seen. I don't give a fuck. I'm sure the umpires were like, hey, man, we said out. The booth overturned it, not us. And he's like, I don't give a fuck who overturned it. He's seething. 
He says, they never fucking overturn that in five fucking years. He was out in five years. Now, I don't know if he's saying five years. It looked like it earlier. Or he's saying it's only happened five times that they've actually overturned this call. It's been around for longer than five years. And the umpires were like, dude, we are on your side. And he's like, yeah, it's fucking them. Fuck them. That's fucking bullshit. That's fucked up. They never overturned that. Never. Umpires looked at him like, all right, man, like I said out. I agree. He said, I don't care. That's so fucking absolutely blocked the plate. He agrees with the call. Rock was going to kick some dirt. He's going to have a good exit. It's fucking bullshit. He's going to look left. He's going to look right. He's going to say, fuck off and fuck off. Pointing just easterly. You know, it's New York isn't in the booth, but that's the general direction. Gary's like, I thought I did everything they taught me. He's like, I thought I did everything I taught me. Boo. You could have seen this. Could have used code John Boy, got $20 off at Seat Geek and seen this play. They did get out of the inning on a fun play. A nice play there by the first baseman. Gary's got the ball again. He's running it back. He's running it back. He's running it back. They're out. The problem is they lost because of that call. I could go on and on and on about this. The, the umpires on the field have nothing to do with it. They made a play on the field, which was the right call, which every person in all of baseball, including the umpires, know is the proper call, and someone in New York decided that that was worthy of being overturned on the field.